right to give you the context of my work in Rome in the Social Justice and Ecology Secretariat, I must give you the time. I reached on 2003 and I was there till 2011. I came from the Indian Social Institute in New Delhi and coming to Rome at that time was very difficult to adjust to a total new vision. The main issues that came up at that time were the decrease in the vitality of the social centers. The dimension of justice was, had percolated to all our ministries, but the struggle for justice was going down because many of the social centers were diminishing in numbers, were closing, and there was a little crisis. And therefore, there was the need to look for new ways of dealing with this issue. And Father Kolbenbach had a very important meeting uh, at the level of the uh, Congregation of Provincials in Deusto in Bilbao, I think it was in Bilbao, where he clearly said that with a social ministry integrated in the social centers, the dimension of justice in the society would die. I think the greatest challenges today are very, very complex. We are living in a fragmented world. We are living in a world, in a political world, driven by passion and sentiment. Look at the various leaders coming out today in the whole world. We are living in a, in a world in which we do not know really what is happening at the back of these big corporations, these big data, at the back of the struggle of China to be a real opponent of the US. In this context, to keep on looking at the social apostolate as my social center, as the work of one province, without any real networking taking place is to me absurd. To be looking at the social work, or if you want, at the social justice secretariat, without integrating ecology and justice, I think we need to take more steps there. But to me, the greatest challenge today for the social sector is to be able to have a strong, a strong intellectual dimension. There have been a lot of contacts between social centers and universities, especially in Latin America. I wish this could be done everywhere in the world, especially in the assistancy in which I come from. The idea to see the social sector as walking alone, without lay collaboration, without networking with other sectors, with other people, I think is going to be futile. Well, the question is not very easy to answer because it's not only the social apostolate that has to get ready for the universal apostolic preferences. I think it is the whole uh, governance structure in the Society of Jesus that needs to do something to implement this. Let me put a number of questions to you. How are we going to ensure that the universal apostolic preferences are implemented is a province accountable to only to Father General? Will only Father General say that these UAP are well implemented in province X, Y, and Z? What is going to be the role of the president of the conference in implementing this UAP? The president of the conference will not, cannot today, interfere in the work of a province. Is he not responsible for what is going to happen at the level of a conference? South Asia conference and therefore to me the problem is not only I'm sorry to say it of the social apostolate but it is the way in which the UAP are going to be transmitted and are going to be made accountable to a clear structure is are the provinces going to be responsible to the delegate for discernment and apostolic planning in Rome is this figure going to be replicated at the level of each assistancy Unless this is very clear, neither the social apostolate nor any other apostolate can really do something so that the UAPs are implemented. Thank you.